everyone, Chef Patty here with Admed Health, and today I am making a gluten-free pancake recipe. So that means that we're making it with oatmeal and not flour. So if you're on a gluten-free diet, this is a recipe for you. And one of the many reasons why I love this recipe is that you can actually make a batch the night before, and the next day it'll be even better. Because this is one of those that the longer it sits, the thicker it gets, and it's amazing. So let's get started. This is, and also you just kind of like make everything in the blender. You can even put the blender in the fridge. You don't have to transfer it to a bowl. Just make it, you let it sit overnight in your blender. And if you don't want to let it sit overnight because you're craving it in the morning, just let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. That's it. So we're going to start off with a little fat. So I'm using coconut oil and I'm making this as healthy as possible. Uh, Greek yogurt. Let me get a spoon. Greek yogurt. If you don't have Greek yogurt and you just have regular yogurt, that's fine as long as it's preferably plain and not flavored. So I've got the yogurt. Next, we need milk. I'm going with the oat milk, staying in theme, but you can use regular milk, skim milk, almond milk, whatever you prefer. And then our rolled oats. So what I like doing, what I prefer to do is that I divide my rolled oats and I only put like one and one fourth in the blender right now because it's going to pulverize. But later on, I'm going to put my remaining oats in the mixture and then not blend it and just kind of like fold in. So I have a little texture. So you'll see. So the oats went in. I've got two whole eggs going in. And then instead of using any sugar, I'm gonna pour in a little maple syrup. You can use honey or agave if you want. Vanilla. It smells so good. A little cinnamon. baking powder. So this is going to help make them really fluffy. And a pinch of salt. I always add salt to balance anything that I'm making that's sweet. Now I'm going to just kind of blend until it's pretty smooth. Oh, let me turn this on. Probably like 20, 30 seconds. And then you want to stop at some point and just kind of like push any ingredients that are stuck to the inside of the blender. It's easy. Easy peasy. Okay. This is smooth enough. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, 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 you can see. Okay, so now that I have everything blended, I am gonna add my remaining oats. And you can use, I'm using rolled oats. You can use a quick cooking oats. Now the thing is that the quick cooking will absorb the moisture a lot quicker. So that's why I like going with rolled oats, but use whatever you have at home. And then, like I mentioned earlier, I do this just because I want some texture in my pancake. So I don't pulverize all of my oats. I leave some to the end and then now I'm just kind of like stirring or folding with my rubber spatula. And then the other thing you want to do now is if you're going to add any of your add-ins, like I'm using pecans. I'm gonna add some chopped pecans in here, but you can add fresh fruit, dried fruit, anything that you want. Chocolate chips would be really yummy as well. And that is it. See how easy this is? Okay, in the fridge. If you have time, you do it overnight. If not, you can make it the day of 10 to 15 minutes. Let it chill so we can thicken, so we can set, and then it'll be easier to cook they won't be too runny. Also, another tip is that when you go cook your pancakes, I like cooking them in a little coconut oil, and then I don't make them really big. I try to make them eh, medium size. 
I have some that I pre-cooked that I am gonna show you. So I've got my pancakes here. They're so good. I also, what I did was, just because I happen to have some peaches at home, I sliced some peaches, and I'm gonna include this in my recipe. I sliced some peaches, I cooked them in a little coconut oil, I added just like a tablespoon of brown sugar if you want, that's optional, and a little pinch of salt. Cooked it in my skillet so I caramelized the peaches. And then I've got all this like liquid. Yum. You can finish with a little maple syrup. And here we go have it friends our oatmeal pancakes i topped mine with caramelized peaches and then i am ready to kind of show you what they look like just nice and creamy and fluffy that's it Guys, I hope you make this recipe at home. I'm gonna eat my pancakes now. Remember our recipes, they, you can find them on the Advent Health Facebook page. Send us a message if there's something you wanna learn how to make. And see you soon, Mwah. ciao. Mm. <laughs>